Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about our new HTML5 mobile web app as compared to our native uh, touchpoint mobile survey app. And let me explain the difference. Uh, mobile web is basically an online survey rendered in a mobile browser either on any mobile device, whether it be an, a phone or a tablet. Uh, our, currently we're supporting uh, iOS, which is Apple devices, as well as Android devices. Next will be um, um, BlackBerry as well as uh, Windows Phone, etc. Um, and on the other native app side, uh, we have our Touchpoint mobile survey app, which is also compatible with iOS and Android devices. And that, of course, is designed to run on the device as a native app that you download, install, and run. And that has certain advantages, robust API capabilities, rich features, offline capabilities, some of the distinctions between an, uh, an online survey solution versus a native app that has offline survey capabilities as well as online real-time capabilities. Okay, enough said. Um, why don't we jump in here? I'm in the survey manager in Ohm test account. And I've created a few surveys. One is for a mobile phone, which is running our native app. And jumping down to below, I've created an online survey, which when viewed on a mobile device will be rendered in our, our new rich um, API, uh, which is a HTML, HTML5 uh, solution. And so I'm going to bring up our, um, my actually my iPhone, which is running right now our native touchpoint mobile survey app, which like I say is native app downloaded from the app store. It's an application running on my iPhone. It has online, offline, real time capabilities, very rich feature set. And I can go ahead and use my finger here I'm actually using my iPhone in my hand this is a uh, an emulation in real time of my my iPhone and I can go ahead and take the survey and I'm right after I do this I'm going to go to my mobile browser on my iPhone and take the same survey but and here is a choose all that apply question and a ranking question where I can drag and rearrange the ordering um, different question types uh, I can take pictures, video, audio recording, or just open-ended text here if I type in test, for example, done, next, slider question, next, and upload. And that's real-time data coming up into the Survey Manager for reporting purposes. Okay, so why don't I click now to my mobile um, browser. I'm clicking Safari, and here's the same survey as you'll see here, opinionmeter.com. This is the URL field where you can type in any any browser, uh, any URL into any browser, and um, it's the same survey now except it's running as an online survey optimized for a mobile web browser using the latest HTML5 capabilities. And this can also track GPS coordinates. It will know where the device is when the survey is taken. And we'll be adding in phase two the ability to control the camera and some offline capabilities. But offline will never be the same as a truly native app, as well as certain APIs and rich feature functionality. But let me show you how we've kept the same user interface uh, for our mobile web uh, solution. So I'm going to click start to start the survey. And here's question one. Looks pretty similar, doesn't it? Actually identical except for the URL bar, the U URL bar that's atop the screen, which we can't control since it is a browser. That's the only difference. So I'm going to click through, select some responses to these questions. I'm a male. I'm uh, white. So let's go down to white. And I have postgraduate education and I'm interested in healthcare and software development. Choose all of the apply question. And let's just like we did before, we have a ranking question, we have an open ended question. Let's type in test, done, next, ranking question, or slider question, and submit. And there's my data in real time because my phone is online. Now, if it was offline, 
therein lies one of the major differences between an online or mobile web solution and an, uh, an actual native app that's installed on my device get, that can record data whether I have internet connectivity or not. So that's a quick example of the differences between our new uh, just released HTML5 capable mobile web solution that can run on tablets or phones either iOS or Android and will be in phase two supporting all the other uh, major mobile phone browsers um, and we're pretty excited about it because we carried forward all the great rich UI user interface that we've designed for our native app over to our mobile web solution. Great, that concludes the uh, quick tutorial. Appreciate your time. Thank you.